Hello YouTube, this is Carl Brooks with IamThereforeiPad.com and today I want to talk to you about a iPad application called DisplayLink. Now DisplayLink is a uh, wonderful productivity tool that will allow you to extend your PC to your iPad. Now I've, I've been accustomed for a few years now of having multiple monitors at work uh, but when I come home I I'm stuck to just using one screen machine so I love my iPad and I use that often but there's times when I have to use a PC and and so I can use both my PC and iPad together uh, to have two monitors for my PC work uh, how it works is there's a client that's loaded onto the PC. Uh, you go to iPad.DisplayLink.com and it'll load this little interface here. It's kind of hard to see here. Uh, but it looks just like a little computer screen. And it's not much to it. You load that on the computer. You download the program from uh, iTunes. It's uh, $199. You fire up the application, and it'll give you a list of available computers. Now, you can have multiple computers set up in your home. Uh, it'll give you a, the name of the computer. You click on that, and it'll prompt you for a password. Well, I guess I didn't put a password on this one. But anyway, now my iPad is now an extension of my desktop. So... Let's say I was working on a homework project and I uh, wanted to do some research. So I could, I could bring my Word document over here, just drag it over to this screen, and I can maximize that. And there I have my Word document on my iPad. And on this screen, I could be, you know, searching Google. I have to get my mouse back over here. There we go. <clears throat> and I can be on, you know, Google searching for, you know, the, the information for my paper. And so I can locate the stuff on this side and then take my mouse over here and start typing without having to toggle between two different displays. So again, it's called Display Link. Very neat uh, application. I'm on a Windows 7 machine. I, I did do this at work on a XP uh, box as well. It worked fine. I did have one problem with my netbook. Uh, the netbook display is not really a standard size display. I'm assuming that's what the problem is. I'll contact the developer and see if, if he has a workaround or if the beta version will work with that. Uh, it's also Windows 7, but it's Windows 7 starter, and that's one of the reasons why I don't like netbooks as it is. They they're not always fully functional. So again, this is Carl Brooks with I am therefore iPad.com, sharing with you the display link for the iPad. Now there are a couple of settings I'll share with you. Uh, if I if I go down near the clock and I click on the monitor display link device there's check boxes for optimized for video if we were watching a YouTube video we would want to have that checked otherwise it would uh, I don't know what this is let's find something here just search YouTube here and we'll slide that window over to the iPad and let's just play one of these videos
Now this is working on Wi-Fi. See if we can maximize that screen. Didn't like that when I maximized the video on the screen. So here's the same video playing on the regular monitor. I'll just rewind it quickly. So that slowness wasn't the, the iPad's display, just the way this video was designed. So it did have a problem doing a full screen display of that video. Whereas obviously the regular screen doesn't have a problem at all. So again, this is the display link for iPad. You need the component on your i I'm sorry, the component software on your PC and you need the software for the iPad. The software for the PC is free. Uh, the software in iTunes is $199. Uh, great value. If you've ever uh, had a dual screen, you know the the benefit in it. And if you've never had a dual screen, you have no idea what you're missing. Um, at work, most of our users have three screens. If you try to get them to go back to one screen, they would uh, strangle you. Uh, even times when one machine's out, and I give them a, a one of their machines is out. I give them a machine that only has two screens. They act like they can't work because you just get so used to having that that dual screen or multi uh, uh, multi screen. It works on Wi-Fi, so sometimes it does get a little sluggish as far as the mouse movement, uh, but it doesn't hinder you from doing what you need to do. Um, the connection is Wi-Fi, so your iPad and your machine have to be on the same network. In most uh, uh, instances, that wouldn't even be an issue. Uh, but there are times, like uh, if your iPad is on th uh, 3G, or in my case, I have a MiFi, I may be connected to that MiFi, but when I come home, my machine's on my uh, home network, I would have to make sure I switch the iPad to the same network. Uh, but it does use... Uh, Wireless, there's no cable connected to the machine at all. The iPad is freestanding without any cables. It does rotate, but then it distorts the screen a little bit. That way, you can't flip it all around, and it, and it does as you would expect the iPad to do. There are some changes in, in that uh, display device uh, software on the PC that you can... Uh, Go to advanced configuration and it will bring up the uh, display parameters and allows you to uh, do some configuration of the, of the iPad. So it shows me two, uh, two screens. The second one is my iPad and it has Carl's iPad in the display. I can mirror so I can duplicate these displays. So if I apply, you'll notice over here that has my Word document currently. But if I hit apply, it has the same thing that's on this screen. I'll say keep changes. So now the iPad, you see my start button down there. Uh, the iPad has the same exact things, uh, display information that my PC has. Um, so I can rotate. I'm going to portrait. Well, I don't want to I want to cancel that. I don't want to just re rotate it when I have a mirror. So let me let me change that display once again. And see, even though I can go th through this, these, uh, this the regular steps to get here, it's much easier to go the other way. So 
I'll cancel this out. And I go back down to the display link device program. I can show you over here. That's a little worse, I think, than here. And I'll go back to advanced configuration. I'll, I'll change this from multi monitor. So take this from display to extend these displays. And I hit apply. Now it switches, switches my iPad back to his own screen and I'll just drag over the Word document that I had there before uh, just take this and drag it from here to here okay and so in the device configuration I can change this from landscape to portrait you see it changes on the screen. I hit apply and let's watch that. It just changed that to display. Now obviously we have to lock this orientation so that stays. And now you see there's no distortion in the text because I rotated it on the computer software versus just allowing the iPad to flip itself. So again, this is Display Link, available in the iTunes Store and on the link below. Again, this is Carl Brooks with I Am There For iPad, saying thank you for watching. Make sure you comment or give a, a like on this video, and I'll see you on the web.